What's up, you guys? So it's, it's been a while, quite some time. Um, I have missed YouTube. I actually, honestly, did like making videos. It's uh, it's been a long journey since leaving high school. Uh, catch up. Um, I've gotten some tattoos. I became an EMT in January of. 19. Done a lot of things. I don't know where to start. Let's start with school. What's up, you guys? So, I did start school. Start school, I did my basics. Um, I had to take a weightlifting class for uh, my uh, EMT class. Uh, EMT class was pretty difficult. Uh, we had some guys in there from fire. Uh, they took the fire tech class, which teaches them how to use all the equipment on the fire truck. Um, my classes are pretty cool. Uh, they're funny as shit. We always made jokes. It was funny. I never thought I would laugh at medical memes, but there I was laughing at them. Uh, I did have to do my time at the fire department and run 911 calls with them. So I did go on the ambulance and the fire truck, the F-150, pumpers and the ladders. Uh, I also did have to go to the hospital, went to labor and delivery, and did the ER. Can't talk about the patients, but as of 2019, I did get to deliver my first baby at age 19, and I did get to revive my first guy using CPR. Um, besides that, the class was pretty difficult. It gets pretty hard at the third or fourth um, block. Uh, there's different ways to fail a class. Failing one block, there's five blocks, and your final. Failing any of them makes you fail the whole entire class automatically. Uh, besides that, I had super, super fun at the fire department, even though it was nerve wracking. You know, they actually do throw you in there. They're like, hey, I need you to go get a, a BP. Go get a BP. And you know, what's the SPO2? What's the background? What's the sample? Sample means uh, different things, you know, allergies, medication, stuff like that. And if they needed to, they'd ask me, hey, did you get the information? I'd say, yes, sir, I did. What's the BP? Uh, 120 over 50. Uh, check it again, it doesn't look right. All right, yes, sir. Uh, what's this SPO2? This SPO2 is at 98. I have to do stuff like that. Um, I have to get uh, sugar sugar levels. I have to do a whole bunch of stuff. Um, that was it for school. School is pretty fun. I'm going back this semester. Uh, in August to continue for my advanced. I already passed the next class. Um, now it's the uh, the drugs now is coming up. This class it'll be how I can administer now another uh, around 63 new drugs that I can administer. Uh, for that class, you gotta learn the contraindications, the indications to give those drugs, why you shouldn't give them, what side effects they come with, what adverse side effects that come with them. How does it affect the patient? How does it work in the body? Stuff like that. The general makeup of it. So that's my homework, really. And then we run scenarios. How to uh, how we can give the medications different ways. You know, through an IV, oral. We can give it through the ear. If it's a uh, lotion, we can give it that way too. We have one cool one called the IL. It's an IV drill that we drill into your bone. In, on your leg, and that's how we give uh, some normal saline. If we can't find a, a vital vein in your in your uh, finger, uh, hand, or arm, or if we can't find one on your jugular, we go out and take out the drill, drill and a needle straight into your leg. So that was it for school. Let's move on to work. So work, you obviously see um, in this weird ass place. Right now I'm at a construction site. I'm doing security. Um, I do security for different places. I uh, do apartments, do pools, uh, construction, size, construction sites such as this one. Um, I have to do one that's by this uh, halfway house and by these homeless people and prostitutes. So uh, there's that. I do a trucking company where I inspect trucks for bombs and drug smuggling. I check tires, mud flaps, lights, the interior. 
uh, the exterior, the wings, seals, make sure they match the build, lading, cut seals, place new seals on, call dispatch, give them the empties, write reports on empties and dirties, send them to GI Lane to get cleaned. I do, I do quite a lot. Um, one construction site, uh, there's three of us. Uh, I, I honestly did like that spot, even though it was dangerous. Uh, we were, that construction site, we were next to some halfway houses, uh, skid row, some homeless people and some prostitutes uh we did get to see our fair share of uh weird things that'll probably be on another video but um that's what i've been doing for security uh they're gonna upgrade me to this september to level three so i'm gonna have to get some body armor uh testing out for shotgun and handgun and that's all i've been doing for work it's just doing security uh they haven't even told me what i'm gonna be doing for armed guard if i'm gonna be doing ATM withdrawals or if I'm going to be doing uh, some protection. Uh, level 3 is really different. You can do party halls, you can do ATM transfers, uh, you can do just transfers if it's something precious. You can just uh, be stationary at a certain place, protect certain items that don't want to be touched. Um, so that's all of it for work. So the future of this channel, what would I like to do? I'd like to take you to school with me. It's pretty fun to do new things. I want to show you what uh, advanced EMTs do. I do have some videos of what basic EMTs. I'll go ahead and show you right now. After that, uh, I want to go ahead and take you to our laboratories where we do practice what we were taught in class. Uh, I'm pretty sure I will capture the IO, the drill that goes into your leg like I said earlier. Uh, advanced airways where we put tubes down into your lungs to give you O2 straight to your lungs. Um, other stuff, how to administer certain drugs probably. Uh, I'll probably show you a few of my classmates. Um, or my classes, my professors. Professors were pretty freaking awesome. I love my basics and my advanced ones. They're pretty freaking cool. Funny as shit too. Um, that's about it. I'm gonna take you guys with me to school. 
Uh, I cannot take you to with me to the fire department. Um, teaching confidentiality. Maybe I will get to show you the fire truck. Maybe you get to see me and I don't know some earmuffs from my uniform ready to go into a 911 call. Maybe the back of the ambulance. I'll go to show you that me on a on a call. Um, besides that, maybe work. I'll go ahead and upload some work stories because work and security you got some stories to tell I mean just the other day I got chased by three dogs alright yeah um that's about it dude um hope you watch the next videos if you are watching uh maybe come back and watch the other ones I really just want to do this as a hobby because I mean, making videos was pretty fun during high school. I did kind of miss it. To be honest, I did lose a lot of sleep during medical school. And uh, nothing was bringing me happiness. Uh, besides games, but games were like very little. The only times I had fun was when I was playing with some friends. But um, I think I want to do this again because it was definitely, definitely something that I did like. Um, but besides that... I have nothing else. Maybe show you what's on what I'm carrying. On my belt, I'm carrying a uh, Gerber Go Strike self defense knife. Straight. I am also carrying a first tactical knife. I use this for cutting boxes or seals or whatever I need to cut. This one right here is for self defense on my boot hold on let me grab it on my boot we have another self-defense in case in my pocket I do carry some mace trigger guard um say that what else do I carry I carry uh Samsung Galaxy Buds, my phone, it's a S10 Plus, a uh, small flashlight, love this thing, this thing is freaking awesome, um, my wallet, some glasses, some gloves, that's about it, um, next year I will be a Penix carry, uh, concealed carry, some handguns, I think I'll be getting a Glock 19 5th Gen, not I would like to get a SIG P226 but that's a thousand dollars might as well just get a Glock it's like 500 or 600 and there's a lot of upgrades for the for the Glock sights uh, different mags there's a whole bunch of different stuff I can switch out the barrels the slides but that's for the future. Maybe I'll do a video on that later on what I think about guns. Besides that, hope you guys join back again for the next one. Next one will be a story on security. Go ahead and see you guys next time. Peace.